Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Hey, I'm out here working on this reverse flow, and I was putting a cooktop on the firebox, and I needed to get the mill scale off of it. So I was gonna show y'all what I was doing to get it off. Uh, this is the same cooktop that I had on my reverse flow, and it was kind of an add-on, so I didn't even think about it until I already had the box built. But I would have made a, uh, I just put this piece in a tub, because I just kind of got vinegar sitting on top of it right now. That's all that is, is vinegar. Distilled white vinegar. It's got to sit there for a long time. So I'm kind of lucky that it's pulling. It keeps coming away from this side. If you put it on there, wherever you start seeing it rusting up at, the meal scale is probably already off of there. And even if it's not, that means the vinegar is drying up on it. It won't rust as fast up under it. You can see here where it's already off. I left that sitting last night. And I didn't put a lot because I didn't want it to pull off and end up all over the floor. But it's only been on there about a, maybe an hour and a half right now. So I'm going to come back, get some more stuff done while that's on there. And we'll look at it again once it starts coming off. It's going to take around 10 to 12 hours. It takes a while. But it will pull it off of there. So we'll come back and look then. While that stuff's soaking in, we'll take a look at these. I finished these since the last video. This was another cabinet smoker. Like the last one that I did in the video. It's ready to go, just waiting to be picked up. Also got another vertical done over here. That's the 24 by 24 vertical. So a couple more done and several on the way. I'm just scraping away at it a little bit right here. After a few hours, you can kind of see a top coat of it start to come off. So I'm just scraping it and trying to keep the vinegar over to the sides. It's coming off there pretty good. I keep losing it on this side because it's wanting to go towards the back. Right here, this is what it looked like after about 10 or 12 hours. I had to go to a, a little Christmas party at the church and by the time I got back, it was just about dried up. And that got pretty much all of it off of there except for around the edges. I come back with a flap disc, a wire wheel, and get that little bit off. All right, that's pretty much it. It's probably gonna try to rust up again. I, have, I don't have any water right here. I left my spray bottle to kind of neutralize the vinegar on it. So it'll probably rust up again in the morning. You can see it got all of you see, you can see where it's still at. There are a couple little pieces around the edge. I didn't get it pushed all the way over there because I didn't want it just leaking down the side constantly. But other than that, it's gone. I'll come back with a flat disc on it in the morning. It's late right now. And uh I'll come back with a flat disc or either a sandpaper on a, a hand sander, a palm sander, with just a little sanded disc on it and clean it all up. And then I'll get to building the frame and everything around it. I've got the drain put in already. I just have to cut this side out and put the valve and everything on it. But yeah, just letting it soak, letting that vinegar soak on it. Like I said at the beginning, if you would have put this in a tub from the jump before you ever built the firebox, went ahead and knocked that piece out, and got it clean, it'd have been a lot easier to just submerge it, 
having it sitting on top of here, I had to keep moving it around and moving it around, trying to keep it in spots I wanted it. But it takes it right on off of there. And I'll polish that on up. And then you have to keep that thing seasoned. I mean, because it'll be bare metal. So anyway, that'll get that done. I'll start framing it up in the morning. I'll probably go ahead and show that too. Getting the top framed in right now. Frame is mostly just to keep grease from going everywhere. I did the sides a little bit higher this time to help with the spatter. It's just a matter of getting it all welded in and getting the top made for it. Still have to put that drain in on the side and the valve. These things work really well. Hopefully, I'm a, next time I do a reverse flow, I'm going to do mine again like that. And then right here, of course, I ran out of wire. You get that spool put back in there and get back on it. This is the top on there. I got it all knocked out now. All right, I got it knocked out, the part that I was working on for what I was removing the mill scale on the top for. It's a griddle top. That was the top I was sliding off of it. It has a drain that comes out here. It'll have a valve and a grease bucket. But I got the smoker ready to start uh, getting ready to clean up and get the paint on it. So that's what I'm fixing to do now. I got several other smokers and fire pits going right now. So as soon as I get to paint on this, I'm gonna jump back on those. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one.